the objective of this module is to basically provide an introduction to the concept of financial economics financial economics is a branch of economics which deals with the allocation it basically it explains how the allocation of funds is done in order to allocate the funds in their best possible use so that we can derive the maximum benefit out of it it is it focuses upon the usage and the distribution of the different types of resources and when we when we say resources we are specifically talking about the financial funds the the capital how the different forms of investments etc so basically this particular module explains how the various types of funds are allocated in their best possible usage so that we can derive the maximum benefit out of it and uh, we cannot mix financial economics with economics because when we talk about economics it is the allocation of resources in their best possible use and when we talk about the resources or when we identify the various resources that are accounted for in economics it deals with all the various types of resources we have such as the physical resources um the, min the minerals and the human capital but when we are dealing with financial economics it specifically deals with the financial resources the financial resources comprises of the various types of funds the bonds stocks um the capital uh, we have physical capital we have um tangible assets non tangible assets so these kinds of all things are considered when we are dealing with the financial economics so there are it is important to understand that financial economics deals with very important aspects such as uncertainty it covers time um and that is one of the basic basic variable that differentiates financial economics from economics that when we are allocating the resources in terms of economics we do not take into account time all the times so um it is the time factor that is that plays a very crucial and important role in financial economics another important aspect which is associated with financial economics is that it talks about the risk which is due to uncertainty for example if i have invested some money in a bank today i don't know depending upon the economic conditions one year down the lane or after two years or three years they may change their uh, rate of interest due to some some uh, policies developed by the government there may be a decrease in the interest rate or increase in the interest rate or there there could be some other terms and conditions that can be there that can that can be tightening or relaxing so uh, when we talk about financial economics or allocation of financial resources we do have to consider firstly an, an important aspect that is the time factor the next important thing is that it is subject to most of the decisions in financial economics which we have to undertake are subject to uncertainty then when we um, are allocating the financial resources we need to take into account another very important aspect that is the concept of opportunity costs so opportunity cost is basically uh, uh, accounted for when we consider the uh, mo monetary value of the next best possible option and that is another important dimension that we need to take into account when we are allocating our financial funds into various opportunities or options and then there is another important thing that is the type of information that is available when we are taking any decision in order to, in order to make allocation of funds then it is important to consider the various types of informations that are there and if we do not know completely about a certain situation or the information is not completely given to us or provided to us or provided to any investor then there may be some um, issues or problems with the decision making it will not be uh, a very appropriate or a rational decision so the level of information and the type of information also plays a very crucial role when we are um, allocating funds or when we are dealing with financial economics another very important aspect is the concept of rationality so previously we always believed and assumed that whatever financial decisions are carried out by the investors or by the financial analysts 
they always make make it sure that whatever different type of information is available jo bhi ki tarah ki information aapke paas available hai wo sare ke sare facts ko humne consider kiya hai aur unki madad se hum unki roshni mein hum ek behtareen decision lene ja rahe hain so that means the decision we are undertaking is rational but in fact it has been observed recently in particular that many of our financial decisions are irrational as well so we need to consider this aspect also so basically financial economics deals with allocation of funds and um, it is subject to five major issues uh, which are which have to be considered when we have to make better decisions in in terms of allocation of funds and these are the time and the risk or the uncertainty the opportunity cost and the ty- type of information that is available and the rash whether the decisions were taken were taken rationally or irrationally